Hello, I'm just going to show you how to download or upload your book uh, to Amazon Kindle so that it can be um, displayed on Amazon for other people to purchase, the, you know, your book and, you know, you get paid. And so quickly, let's go to uh, you know, Amazon.com. Uh, and uh, if you don't already have an account, that is pretty easy. You can just go ahead and create one. Uh, you just sign up, which is free. And then I always like to show people that uh, it's good and it's a good idea to make sure that you have you are working uh, or you formatted your book, you know, based on what is provided here. Like you have Word option, HTML, Mobile Pocket, EPUB, plain text, rich text format, and Adobe. Normally, I think Adobe is pretty pretty good, but that is not a rule. You do whatever you want, you know, as long as you you keep the the rules here. Now, after you've done that and you've created your account, you go to your uh, bookshelf and say add title. So maybe if you don't know what this means, this is a way you can get five days every 90 days to promote your uh, your book for free on Amazon. And that is but sometimes you might not need it if your book is doing pretty good. So if you say you want it, you go ahead and check that box and then give your book a title like uh, uh, you know let's say home alone or something like that that's the title and if it is a series just select a box and give the information if it is not just move on and then um, give the description here this is what people will read before they decide to buy your book so it could be something like uh, uh, you know something like the blah 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 whatever that is you know and then you can go ahead and add the, the authors here and you can say your name is Jenny Jonah and then something like uh, Jonah here it has nothing to do with anyone I click save and then um, you don't need ISBN unless you have one and then select the publication date and then you decide if your book is either public domain or the, uh, you, you own the right. I would normally select this one because I own my rights there. Then you can select the category and for example, um, let's say you're talking about nature, you know, if you love nature yeah, or animals and stuff like that, select those two that are required. Then the categories could be like uh, the search terms or the keywords like houses or people or schools and stuff like that and then you can select the you know browse the image that is uh, the cover page of your book that is pretty good uh, important because that is what people see first and then decide whether you want your book to be shareable or just not so that and that I would go with the first choice and then uh, now it's time to upload your book, okay? So if you find your book there and uh, you go ahead and, you know, download that. And let's say uh, you want to upload it. And then say this may take a few moments. You can say save and continue. And if you select continue, um, you are now going to select, you know, verify your publishing territories that is like which countries you want your book to be published in okay so uh, you can always say worldwide territories that is like available in every country now when it comes comes to selecting the royalty you can say 70 percent you know if your book is let's say 99 cents I would go with 35 percent if your book is more than that go with 70 percent so the least price of your book would be like something like two ninety nine. That is a good book, okay? All right. And, uh, you can select all those buttons, and you know it will be really your book. Your book will be available worldwide, okay? Now, let's say by clicking this, I confirm that I have all the rights. And damn, you know what I mean? So there it is. Okay, that is very simple. So because I don't have that book already, I'm going to uh, 
I'm going to remove it because I don't have enough. Uh, that was just an example. So thank you.